You are the son of Libra. Hello and welcome to my channel. And I use the word trying because I'm picking up it might be kind of challenging just to get it. So why don't we get into the reading and let's take a look and see what's going on with that. So for the present time coming up towards the end of June, last week of June, we've got this Queen of Wands and it's with the Six of Wands. Now the Queen of Wands is a very interesting energy here. Uh, this Queen of Wands, it can refer to a woman. She'll have a lot of fire energy. She could be Aries or he could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. When it's not referring to an actual person, it's about getting a whole lot accomplished. You could be f focused on your work or career. Queen is a very positive, uplifting energy. Now, when this queen does stand for actual person, she's a really good friend who's solidly 100% on your side, even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. Also, keep in mind, if you're trying to conceive, give birth, this is a card um, that indicates it's one of the most positive signs that there can be. Queen of Wands is with the Six of Wands. Now, this is all about victory. You see how this lady is standing on a podium? And she's got all these people below her. They're surrounding her. They're rooting and they're cheering her on. It's about victory and success. So, if you're anxious about a court proceeding or you want to win your lover's heart, just know you will be victorious. This can indicate any kind of celebration. So you could be a part of a graduation party, commencement celebration, or you could be receiving a reward for good work that you've done. The Six of Wands, it could make you feel really good about yourself. You could feel as if you got a lot of support from a whole lot of people around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing. Six of Wands. It's a beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. When it comes to love, it's it's like that twin flame energy. The two of you feed off of each other. She's feeding off the crowd and they're feeding off of her. For example, you may need someone to boost your ego while the other person is perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. This is actually called fire of balance. Like I said, the two of you feed off of each other energetically. So you can expect a lot of sexual energy. There's passion and long nights spent in bed. Yeah, this is that twin flame energy. I like the six of wands. So we got the six of wands and the queen of wands coming up for you. Somebody's very determined here with the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is very determined, egotistical, gets what she wants, she knows her worth, very confident. And then there's victory and success. Usually when you put those two together, you can't lose. But we got to see what the rest of the reading is saying before we say what's really going on. So we'll put those two cards to the side for now and let's move on over and take a look at how your person is seeing you. Now they see you like the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, it can indicate that you could be spending money, time, and energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. And this is a good thing provided you don't take on too much debt. People could be looking to you for insight and or advice. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. This is also a time period when you'll get a whole lot accomplished. So this is one of the ways your person sees you. They see you as wanting comfort. Yeah. They could see you as very down to earth, maybe really caring. Uh, Queen, of, Queen of Pentacles is a housewife type. They make do. You just want, they see you wanting peace and comfort. Now it's interesting because it's with the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is this card that's 
below the word they see you. You see how this man, he's on all fours. He's got his coins, his pinnacles. You hear the word pinnacles in the tarot? That's money, cash, coins, finance. So he's got his hands on his money and his feet on his money. His eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head. And his, his brain looks like it's about to explode. So, for Pentacles, it's about holding on to things, people, money, situations longer than it's healthy or realistic. It's a sign that you must look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. So it's about anxiety and fear and, well, it points to anxiety and fear, could be about money. Or you could be clinging to whatever makes you feel secure. The key would be to realize that being anxious and grasping it does not bring security. So they see you that you're being very firm and resistant to change. Yep, they see you holding on really tight. And they think it's in an unhealthy way. But with the Queen of Pentacles here, they They see you just want comfort, and you're holding on to, to what you have. So we'll have to clarify these two cards to see what's going on with that, but we got to take a look at the rest of the reading, so just hang in there. We'll get, we'll get a clear picture in a minute. So let's take a look at how you see them. You see your person as a Three of Cups. It's with the Seven of Cups. Now, the Three of Cups is considered to be a card about reunions or a card of reunions. But um, in its broadest sense, it's about running back into meeting with someone or something that's been away for a long time. Now, this is considered to be a happy reunion. You see how they're jumping up in the air? They're toasting their wine and their champagne, and they're about to land into a lake. They don't care. They're just so happy. It's a really happy return. It can mean celebrating or celebration your own or someone that you care about, such as celebrating a baby, maybe a wedding, or some type of happy occasion. Yeah. So you see them as, hmm... Well, when it comes to love questions and you get the Three of Cups, it could mean that uh, return of a long-lost love. Yep, this looks like um, there's a reunion here. Yep, somebody wants to return. So you see them as a past person trying to maybe... Um, get back in somebody wants back somebody wants to come back here now it's with the seven of cups now the seven of cups is about choices so it's it's indicating confusion and you got disorganization you got too much going on so it's about trying to narrow your focus you're trying to do too much and doing most of it not well so just choose just a few of the important things that are on your plate and work through them one by one carefully work through them carefully uh, you may start to feel overwhelmed just remember that you can control at least in some areas how much you're trying to take on so you see this person that's trying to return as someone that you feel like they got a lot of options they keep the door open mm -hmm. But they want to come back to you. But still, you you feel they they keep the door open. Too many, too much going on. They got too many options. So let's take a look at why it's happening. We got the lovers card, and then we got this ace of wands. The lovers card. Oh boy, isn't that beautiful? Love those colors that. Uh, dark red and that 
gray, beautiful card in the tarot. It's associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. So it's possible that uh, you'll, you're feeling ambivalent about a relationship or a situation. It could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another. Now the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people say that there are only two modes that any of us operate under at a time and that's either fear or love. So when you can't choose love, it's saying it's safe to choose love when you get the lover's card. That's what it's saying. Um, it means that it's a time that's likely to bring love in big bold capital letters to the center stage of your life. And this is either a new relationship or a powerful rebonding of an old one. Either way, you'll be quite happy about how romance is going. And others will remark, well, others will notice, put it that way, how happy you are, how, how you're glowing. Yeah, this is serious stuff. It could mean that you're meeting each other's family and talking about the word forever. It's a coming together. It's a union. Yeah, now it's interesting. I'm going to say this. Because we got the Six of Wands, to me that's a twin flame energy. Six of Wands, we talked about that for the present. And then we got this Lover's card. It's a twin flame here. This has turned out to be a twin flame reading. And... Someone's ready to reunite with their twin. Yeah, and then we got the Ace of Wands here. Now, the Ace of Wands is about new beginnings, very positive new beginnings. Um, uh, the Wands are in the realm of accomplishments, and it could be related to work or career. But since this is a love reading, it's referring to relationships, romance. And if you're having a difficult time, now just know that things are getting, things are going to get much better very soon. Because you see this one, it's sitting in the, it's between the clouds or it's in the sky. Actually, this one, it, it burst into the clouds, above the clouds. It's just not sitting there. It, it rammed its way through the clouds really fast. So things are about to get much better very soon. Uh, it depicts upbeat, optimistic, and being hopeful about the future with a really good cause, and you're likely to be feeling energetic, positive, or you will be feeling that way soon. The Ace, it tells you that now is a good time to start something new. So there's a lot of passion here with the Ace of Wands. A lot of passion here. Some new beginning is... It's... it's trying to happen and we got the we got this twin flame I'm picking up this is a twin flame reading for you Libras for a lot of you Libras if you haven't come together with your twin it looks like let's see what's let's let's conclude this and see well what's happening here because I know the reading was all over the place I know so Libra your person they see you clinging on you want comfort you just want peace and comfort you don't want any conflict they see you holding on to what you have and it looks like they're trying to make a return you're a twin I'm going to say twin because we got two twin flame cards here six of wands and the lover's card your twin is trying to to come into union with you with this three of cups here but you see that they have too many options they keep the door open so you're just deciding looks like you're just, they see you as deciding to hold on to to what you have hold on to yourself and focus on just being comfortable so you're holding on to it looks like you're holding on to you. You're not letting... It looks like you're not letting this twin in. You don't like the fact that they keep the door open and they got options, but they're ready to come into union with you. Yeah. At one point, 
I'm picking up you want victory and success. That's why the Six of Wands is here. You want a victory and success with this with your with this person. Your twin. I'm gonna say your twin. And at one point, um Yeah, it looks like at one point you wanted that success. But you see that they they always keep the door open. They have they have too many options. Yeah, and um, it looks like a new beginning with this Ace of Wands. It's trying to happen, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen now. They want to return, and it looks like they, um, yeah. Now, they could be the one who wants victory and success with you. Like I said, the energies, they can be switched. So, they could be the one that won victory and success with you. And at one point, you were determined up there with the Queen of, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is very determined and confident. I'm picking up at one point, you were determined. This person wants to come back. They want to have success with you. But you're you're not letting them in. You're just clinging on to your comfortable lifestyle that you have. You don't want any drama with all their other options. But a new beginning is trying to happen. It's trying to. So maybe a little bit, maybe in a, who knows, maybe at the end of the year, they'll realize that to come to union with your twin flame, you have to step out of the matrix. For it to be for it to be a successful um, union, for it to be a successful come together, yeah, both parties have to step out of the matrix, and it looks like they're still stuck in the matrix with all their options. Yeah, that would be an unsuccessful twin flame reunion. Yeah, your person needs to step out of the, out of the matrix. And then you two can have this beautiful new beginning. So it looks like you're not letting them in yet. Not yet. You're just going to cling on to what you feel is comfortable in your life. Yeah, it probably looks like you're staying close to home. You're not letting this person in. Yeah, but your twin flame, Libra, that's interesting. They're trying to make a rich, they're trying to make, come to union with you. It could be a happy return, but it looks like not right now because they're keeping the door open. And I don't know if they know it. Maybe you should tell them for a successful twin flame reunion or successful twin flame come together. They have to step out of the matrix. And right now they're still stuck in the matrix so with the seven of cups. So that's the reading I got for you, Libra. So I hope this resonates well. I don't know if I should say I hope it resonates. It's nice when uh, twin flames come together and everything is perfect. But then we don't live in the perfect world. Sometimes twin flames, uh, I hate to say it, but sometimes they don't, they don't come to union. And then sometimes they realize, you know, later and then you come to union sometimes they realize they got to step out of the matrix and they realize the energy that's there and it's more powerful than all, all the options that they that they juggle with juggle with juggle with 